What's up guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having an OU tier match against Mackie or the Deluxe Banana on Twitch. He was actually streaming and I challenged him to a battle and he obliged so we had an OU tier match. Like I said, his team is Galvantula, Tabu Fini, Garchomp, Mega Alakazam, the Alolan Muck, and the Cloyster. So I gotta watch out for the Shell Smash shenanigans or whatever. Look at my team. I've got kind of more of an interesting looking team. Um, we've got the Ferrothorn, a Zatu, a Greninja, Vivalon, Tapu Lele, and a, I almost said a Lolan, uh, a Mega Aerodactyl, sorry. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, this was a fun match. It was kind of quick, um, and I kind of made some misplays, but it was fun nonetheless. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Alright, so the battle begins. He's going to lead off with his Galvantula, which is pretty uh, pretty obvious. So I'm going to lead off with my Ferrothorn here. So I actually was planning on styling on this man. I kind of figured he would lead off with Galvantula. So I was planning to swap into the Zatu um, to try to bounce back his Sticky Webs. So he actually goes for the Thunder Wave, which is it's still going to get bounced back. But because he's an electric type, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's really unfortunate. But unfortunately... I didn't really need my Zatu much, so I'm going to go ahead and let him kill it off with a Thunder here. So, not today. <laughs> the nickname fits. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap back out into the Ferrothorn here. And uh, this part of the battle is kind of stally and long. But um, basically, he's just going to Thunder Wave me, which is, I don't know, kind of a weird play. I don't... Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen Thunder Wave on a Galvantula. I think that's kind of a weird move. Like... Like, what, what did he get rid of? Like, usually Galvantula have, like, Bug Buzz, Thunder, Sticky Web, and, like, Volt Switch. I guess he doesn't have Volt Switch or something, but... Anyway, he's going to set up these Sticky Webs, which really sucks for my entire team. <laughs> he's going to go for the Bug Buzz now, which does a decent amount. I think it's, like, a 4 or 5 hit KO. I'm going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks, though. Um, just because. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to get some lefties back. So yeah, the, the turns here are going to last quite a while just because of the leftovers and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go for... Fuck, I don't even remember what I go for. He's just going to basically spam the shit out of Bug Buzz. And uh, I get fully paralyzed there, which sucks. I think I was going for Leech Seed now that I think about it. Um, just to kind of break this thing's... Excuse me, had a burp there. <laughs> that was gross. Just to break this thing's Focus Sash. But um... Yeah, he's just going to spam the shit out of Bug Buzz. I go for the Leech Seed there, so his Focus Ash is now broken, um, which is fine. So basically, I'm losing two of my Mons to this fucking Galvantula, which is disgusting. I played... I definitely probably could have played that better, but it's whatever. <laughs> he fucking paralyzed me. What What do you, what do you want me to do? Um, so anyway, now that my Ferrothorn is this low, there's really not a hell of a lot of point in keeping it. So I'm just going to let him kill me off with two more bug buzzes. I get paralyzed there anyway. I don't even know what I was going for. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much Ferrothorn has seen better days. So he's going to kill me off here with another bug buzz, I believe. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much to say for the uh, the beginning of this battle, honestly. Um, pretty, pretty boring start, actually. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I think here I'd die. No, I live on fucking 1 HP. Oh, my God. As if I wasn't trying to not drag this out anymore. I fucking live on 1 HP. So I go for the knockoff there. That's going to knock off his uh, Focus Sash. Not that it matters at this point. Um, but, yeah, so this turn definitely is when he kills me. So I'm sorry for the I'm sorry for the beginning of this battle, guys. I know it was a little bit stupid, and I made some really questionable plays, but... It's okay, guys. It gets better from here, I promise. <laughs> so, Ferrothorn and my Zatu have gone down. I'm going to bring out Pterodactyl, my boy, named after my boy Patrick. And uh, actually, if he's watching this, Patrick, I misspelled your name. Because Pterodactyl is spelled really weird, but whatever. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to Mega Evolve here and go for the Stone Edge. I probably should have just gone for the Wing Attack, honestly. That definitely would have killed him, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have missed the Stone Edge miss, basically, is what I'm saying. So, he's going to die to the Stone Edge, and thank God I didn't miss, because had he hit me with a Thunder, I definitely would have died. Um, so, here he's going to bring out the Cloister. He's going to get hit by my Stealth Rocks, and uh, I know he's going to try to set up. So, here I have to go for Stone Edge. It is super effective. It actually does kill him, so he is not able to set up the Stone Edge. 
So now, guys, we are after that terrible start. We are finally picking up steam here. And uh, he's going to bring in the Garchomp now. And uh, he's going to get hit by some Stealth Rocks once again. I actually packed the Ice Fang on this Aerodactyl, and it's four times super effective. His Garchomp never even stood a chance. <laughs> so I'm going to get hit by some Rough Skin here. So Aerodactyl just comes in and kills like fucking three of his Mons just right out the gate like that. That was fucking wild. So now he's going to bring out his Tapu Fini. And I'm going to have to get the hell out of here because I do not want to take a Hydro Pump, a Surf, or a Scald, or whatever the hell this thing wants to go for. Aerodactyl, don't want no part of that. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to bring out Lenny. We have uh, my boy Greninja tonguing down everything with a Pulse. I'm going to get hit by some uh, Sticky Webs here. It's going to lower my speed. He goes for the Surf. But because my Protean hasn't changed my typing yet, it actually is resisted. And uh, I actually pack the Gunk Shot on this Greninja, um, so I'm going to change into a Poison type. And uh, somehow, even with the speed drop, I outspeed this Tapu Fini. And uh, I guess maybe he didn't expect the Gunk Shot to happen, but this Tapu Fini is definitely bulky because he lives the Life Orb Protean Gunk Shot. And uh, he has one of those, I think it's one of those Confusion Berries, the Wiki Berry. Um, where he gets like 50% of his health back at like one-fourth of his max HP, which is pretty crazy. Um, so he's going to go for the Moon Blast there. I guess he didn't pay attention <laughs> that my type changed to Poison Typing. So he's actually going to swap here, not wanting to lose his Tapu Fini just yet. He's going to bring out the Alolan Muck now. And uh, once again, like I said, he's going to take some more Stealth Rocks. Basically, everything he switches in is going to take Rocks damage. I actually miss my Gunk Shot there, which really sucks. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go for the U-turn here. On the Alolan Muck, it actually does a sizable amount of damage, but I'm really starting to take some damage now from my Life Orb, so I'm gonna swap out and conserve my uh, my Greninja there. I'm gonna bring back out Pterodactyl, and uh, he's gonna go for the knockoff. Obviously, it doesn't matter to me because I'm holding a Mega Stone, and you can't knock off Mega Stones. I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge once again, and that is going to kill off the Muck. So <laughs> add another Mon to the list of uh, Mons that Aerodactyl has fucked this game. <laughs> so he's going to bring out the Tapu Fini, and um, I can't remember, do I swap here? I actually can't remember. I think I could just go for the Stone Edge here to kill off Tapu Fini as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see here. No, I go for Wing it. What the hell was I thinking? I think, <laughs> okay, I think what happened was I pretty much knew that I had the battle in the bag at this point, so I was just kind of fucking around. <laughs> So I went for wing attack there for some fucking reason. So I go for another wing attack here. I actually live the moon blast because this thing's bulky. It's obviously not going to hurt too much. And uh, I believe his last mon is this Alakazam. So this was effectively like a mega aerodactyl sweep. <laughs> um, so he's going to go ahead and mega evolve. He's going to trace my uh, tough claws. Not that it matters because it's not like <laughs> it's not like Alakazam has any business using physical attacks anyway that make contact. So. I think he actually, it's its actually a speed tie between Mega Alakazam and Mega Aerodactyl. He actually wins the speed tie and uh, he's going to kill me, but that's fine. I literally have like almost my entire team left. <laughs> so I'm going to bring out the Tapu Lele now, Sneal, and uh, I'm going to get caught by some sticky webs here. But really, I wasn't expecting him to have anything to kill me with, so um, I'm going to set up the Psychic Surge, which actually is probably bad for me because this isn't Mega Alakazam. But he actually has the Shadow Ball, so this is actually going to hurt me a lot. But I also have the Shadow Ball, and it actually isn't even going to kill him. Mega Alexam actually has decent special bulk. It's just its physical bulk is utter trash. <laughs> so he's going to kill me off with another Shadow Ball here. I was actually uh, Choice Scarf Tapu Lele. I I, honestly, at this point, I think I forgot about the Sticky Webs. So I was expecting to outspeed and just kill this thing with two Shadow Balls. But yeah, that's not the case. So I'm going to bring out Vivalon here. I'm actually going to end the battle in style here as he's going to go for the Hidden Power. Had he gone for Psychic, he definitely probably would have killed me, but I actually live the Hidden Power. I'm guessing Hidden Power Fire. I live it on 9 HP. I end the battle in style by going for the Flyenium Z um, Hurricane, which turns into... Fuck, what is it called? Uh, Supersonic Sky Strike. So, this is definitely going to obliterate this Alakazam. Like, Alakazam has no chance of living this from its the range that it's at. So, that is a dead Alakazam. And a, basically, Mega Aerodactyl killed five of his Mons. And uh, we just clean up with uh, Vivalon here. So, that was a relatively quick battle, but a fun one as well. 
Um, I got to use some really interesting Mons versus an OU team, so it's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links as always are in the description below. I love you guys. Peace out.